the eye opened up my blinds and her whole house was engulfed in flames. A fire in the middle of the night at this Strathcona County home spread when two lithium ion batteries ignited after being stored in the front entrance. The homeowner ran across the street to wake up her neighbor, Teresa Essen. She ran and got the, the fire extinguisher, put it out, and she said within like 30 seconds, it just went and started up again. The batteries were from a lawnmower and weed whacker. They weren't even in the charger, they were just in a reusable cloth bag and spontaneously co uh, combusted. Officials say look for signs of damage or defects and always use the manufacturer's charger, adding even cell phones with lithium-ion batteries can catch fire. Never charge that device under your pillow, on a couch, on your bed. Always make sure it's in a place that has you know good airflow circulation. And do not keep charging devices when you know they're fully charged. A vehicle battery also ignited this month. This F-350 truck went up in flames on a driveway in Sherwood Park. The ignition point has been traced to a battery being charged at the time. It appears that there was the charging of a battery, car battery, was left unmonitored. And at some point, um, there was a, a failure in that charging system that led to the fire. While there isn't a spike in these types of fires, officials are becoming more aware of them and are reminding the public to watch for signs of problems. Your battery putting off odors, changes in the color of the battery pack, uh, the battery pack becoming too hot to touch, changes in shape or any leakage around the battery are all concerns. It's a strong reminder of the damage that can be caused by something commonly found in every home. Absolutely floored, yeah, just we have several in the house and in the garage. Lisa McGregor, Global News.